have to work really hard if you want to get anywhere with whatever you do. If you work hard enough, we just got the locals. You're gonna succeed. Another day, another championship. Let's go. Yo, Yu-Gi-Oh players, I just want you all to know that I'm going to defeat you all today. All right, boys, tourney is about to start, and today I'm playing something totally new. He whooped my ass. Yeah, I'm going to put your ass again. What the? Hey, bro, I just want you to know right now, before it happens, that I'm winning this whole tournament today with Eldritch. It's the best deck. Why aren't you playing Pendulum? I thought it was the best deck. I'll tell you why. Everyone knows this. If you play Pendulums, <laughs> deep inside people, it gets repetitive. It gets very repetitive. And boring is boring. Very boring. So I decided to play something even more boring and set five and pass. And it's, and it's gonna work. I hope you get even <laughs> Local time! Let's go! I'm excited for this. Let's go. As you can see, we got an outlet, outlet mirror match, baby! <laughs> this is gonna be insane. The better player almost always wins the LH mirror match. So I'm fucking a hype for this one, baby. Let's go. Speaking of the LH mirror match, we still got the LH play mats on the website. So go check out the beautiful LH play mats on tripgaming.com. It is absolutely the most beautiful artwork ever. Uh, sadly, Boxing Week is over. So the sale is gone, but I still did discount it a decent amount. Just not as much as the Boxing Week sale. It is absolutely beautiful of a play mat. Uh, wow, it is incredible. Make sure to go to tripgaming.com to go get it, as well as all the other mats. So here, you're going to see that I'm clearly winning this matchup at the moment because I got like more cards than my opponent. And the key to the LH mirror match is very simple. This is the same as LH versus any trap deck. The key is to save your resources. Absolutely fucking vital. Absolutely vital. As you see, every single card is important. I'm letting him activate the Magic of Punishment. I'm uh, saving my conk for times I want to save it. I'm saving my Wakero to banish all of his cards. And at the moment, he only has one Lord left. He only has one Lord left. I'm letting this extra resolve. All my cards are saved to ensure that I'm going to get maximum uh, value from all my cards. And that's just how you win the duel. Uh, here, I'm going to... I'm, I, he just auto scoops there because I have so much advantage. And he realized that there's no way he could win this duel. We're going to go out to game number two over here. And it really is just a clinic. Like, it, it's an absolute clinic. You save your cards when you absolutely need them. And that's how you win the duel. So make sure to smash the subscribe button if you guys got this far. He's going to go border. I'm going to destroy him right here. You're going to see something insane. Literal genocide. Absolutely unreal. Witch's Strike resolves. I'm not giving what the fuck. This is why you guys got like Witch's Strike in your side deck, bro. Let's go. That was insane. What a game one. That was an incredible start to the vlog. I'm feeling it. We're going to go 8-0 today, bro. 5-0. Saturday is always you play on top spot. We're going 8-0. We're literally not losing a single game the whole way. Let's fucking go. Go ahead. Yo, bro, did you win your match? Uh, it's game three. Game three? Yo, I'm a Dolce King. You're going to win? Uh, yeah, actually, I think I will. You're going to win? Let's go. Yeah, I actually think I will, bro. Yo, Samuel, I'm sorry, bro. I'm rooting for the Madolce guy. I see. You love to see it, bro. Dude, if you get shifted, like it's over, isn't it? Oh, I could draw the cross side or fall down. Oh. There's, there's, there's this new Elledge build I have going on is absolutely nuts. So when you first read Heavenly Prison, you assume that it was a go first card only because it protects back row. I don't give a shit about the back row effect. It, of course, it's good post side deck to stop dust or lightning storm. But I don't think you guys understand just how powerful this card really is. If you're going, let's say you, you, you go first or second, doesn't matter. Even if you're going second. Worst case scenario, it's a Scarlet. Worst case scenario, it does the exact same thing Scarlet Sanguine does. Best case scenario, it searches you for any fucking spell or trap in your deck. Do you have any idea how insane that is? Do you have any idea how absolutely broken this is? Like, if at any given moment, it gets you any card in your deck. And it doesn't matter if it's at the end of the turn because you have five traps to stop them. And it's a body and it's a level 10 and it's this card trained his Elish forever and it literally needs to be a three and every single Elish player's main deck not side deck main deck so remove the dogmatica bullshit you don't want to get valor imprim chalice all that droplets garbage that people are keeping in the deck because they don't have enough cards to take out of their deck enough enough defensive slots to take out of their deck so you need to play cards that aren't affected by that and basically the only ones is the full Elish engine a bunch of traps and heavenly prison so you can't afford it get a job and get three because it's required absolutely mandatory
Meaning at three. To put meaning three heavily prison in retrospect, <laughs> imagine you're playing a Dogmatica engine of double Ecclesia, triple Mandir Servant. Well, I want you guys to know right now. I want you guys to know right now that Lord of the Heavenly Prison does more than what Nadir's Servant does. I want you guys to know that right now. There's no cap, no nothing. This search, search is punishment if you want. It searches extravagance too. Hell, it can search Nadir even, but obviously you don't play that garbage. Does not lose to Chalice, does not lose to Ash, does not lose to Imperm, does not lose to anything. Nothing. It doesn't lose. It doesn't lose to anything. Make your opponent have dead cards in their deck. They already have 12 dead cards. Why make those dead cards uh, available? By playing Inspector Border, that's going to get Chalice, that's going to get Imprint. By playing like now all these cards are absolutely dead. They do nothing. That's why you need to play this. It's the only card in Yu-Gi-Oh! that dodges every hand trap like Elich, the Elich engine does. Main at three. Trust me. There's also one more factor I did not mention because I wanted to wait for it to actually happen. But screw it, I'm going to tell you guys anyways. For all the Elich players out there. What's the most played deck right now? That's Sword Soul, correct? Well, what's their boss end board, especially when they know they're facing your deck? They end on Baron to Floor. What attribute is Baron to Floor? Win. Ha <laughs> ha. That's why you win, win Charmer. Steal the Baron. It turns into your own negate. This format, any deck that ends on a win interruption or a, a light interruption that you can take with Lina instantly makes Elledge way stronger. So whatever, that's why you also need to play the Wind Charmer in your extra deck. What other meta deck is there that you're going to see a lot of? Birds. Okay, but well once you Needle Sealing strike their ass or Sphere Mode their ass, what card is in their graveyard? Apex Avion. What attributes Apex Avion? That's what I thought. This new, this new meta is actually shaping up to really help, uh, really help Eldritch. DPE is a known problem for Eldritch, right? DPE is a known problem. What card stops DPE's effect that makes it absolutely useless? You ever read Heavenly Lord Prison? What's DPE popping? It ain't popping shit, that's for sure, because you're gonna protect it. And then what is your what is your Heavenly Lord Prison gonna set? Dimensional barrier. And then when you enter Battle Base to attack it, and DPE destroys itself, it's not coming back because of D barrier. Drop phase D barrier. What attack is Heavenly Lord Prison 3000? Let's go, bro. I'm I'm a genius, bro. I'm a PhD with this shit. Let's go. We're going to 8 0, baby. Let's go. Metal pod versus metal pod. Man, I absolutely love locals, bro. Let's get it. We're going to go on to uh, round number two now. I love locals, bro. I love locals. I'm so sad I can't go back to them. I can't wait. Maybe a few weeks from now, it'll be back. I want to go every single day. I really miss locals. Here, I'm going to face off uh, a duel against Invoke Player, where he, he's going to go Fusion Destiny here. I'm really trying to dodge Fusion Destiny, but my traps are so ass. Like, I literally just have all Elid traps. I, I should have Power Shuffle. This is another very important thing with Elid, bro. You gotta Power Shuffle because all your Elid traps are together. You got like seven, L eight, nine Elid traps all together in your deck, and the rest of them are just not there. So, it's very sad that we, we uh, didn't do that. Very important Elid to Power Shuffle because uh, you're gonna have nine Elid traps together and like 31 cards that aren't Elid traps. And all the cards I drew were Elid traps and one Dogmatic of Punishment. It was absolutely insane. Uh, so there's not much we're gonna be able to do in this scenario. I'm trying to, to win through skill uh, I know I can win through skill. Uh, I just have to wait and wait and wait Well, eventually maybe I could draw some better traps like a torrential or a needle ceiling Then I need to set up a character to get rid of the DPE. He's not popping his own DPE. I really need to find a way to get rid of it uh, But there's just nothing we can do really in this scenario uh, I go Scarlet and I'm trying to like will my way to victory I'm trying to bring another one. He called by the grace of my golden lord. I'm like, fuck, bro. <laughs> There's nothing we can do to that. Oh, so sad. Uh, and then he's going to bring up uh, Alistair here. Bring up a Makaba. Uh, I fear he might have a trap in his hand. Uh, but there's really not much we could do. Uh, I'm alive a little bit. But I can't to, to, to not die. There's nothing I can do, bro. Eight Ella traps. Like, it's absolutely insane. We didn't even drop any Ella trap to win. Uh, but it's all good, though. That's what we got game two and game three for. And look, at the end of the day, boys, don't give up. Don't give up. I can't stress this enough. If you're in such a commanding position, uh, it's easy to not give up. But if you lose game one, how are you going to handle game two and three? I break game two. Look, I have three cards in my hand, bro. I have three cards in my hand. Uh, but we're still going to just will our way to victory. He goes to the deer. He knows. I, I believe I trap trick for, for deep barrier. Because I, I, all I'm scared of here is fusion. So I just want to make sure that he doesn't bring out... Uh, uh, get his engine going. He doesn't have fusion destiny. He goes cosmic by his duster. I don't even activate my D barrier because he was playing around it with a Nadir. 
So I just save my D barrier for the following turn. Very smart play here. I go DPE. I just set up huge, massive value where I still have a D barrier to go. I bring on Golden Lord to pop that. I do some serious damage and putting him at 3,500 to my 65. He's going to go Alistair now. He's got Invocation. I'm like, sure. Makaba. You got Invo again. You got Purgatrio. I go Conk to pop it. Uh, and then I go conk again to pop and then it's just a game. So we're gonna go to game number three over here I think I did a little mistake. I thought I had D barrier. It turns out I had duster. My bad I thought I had D barrier for some reason, but here we're gonna go on to game number three time is a factor uh, Game one was, was really really long. I didn't want to scoop. I should have scooped earlier game one uh, to save time But uh, game three time won't be a factor. So I got to play super super fast uh, here he's gonna put up that. I'm gonna go uh, goes in. He's gonna pop that, uh, but that's fine. Maximus, I let the Maximus resolve to let my Ignister go to the grave as well as the Entes. And uh, he's gonna get his cards to resolve. And I don't mind if he goes. I'm playing Elich with Dogmatica cards on the grave in the extra deck for punishment. This is fine. This is gonna go super. He's gonna go construct. Um, like this is fine. I don't really care about a construct. He goes Ariel. Ariel absolutely destroys us here uh, really badly. Ariel is, is really rough for our deck. Uh, you're gonna get a massive boring and needle sealing everything. That's why needle sealing so broken, bro. I fucking love needle sealing. See you later to the whole field. Uh, time is a massive factor at this point. I use LN a few times. Use Cosmic. I'm like, bro, fuck. I'm still down in life points. I put up a conk, trying to protect my life points a bit. He goes Makaba. I need to play faster at this point. He puts up a wind as well and punishment. Wants to do as much damage as possible. I have Lava Golem on my hand, so I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, there's not much I can do. He attacks, he attacks. I'm still down like 30 something life points. I need to get a Golden Lord ASAP, bro. ASAP. He goes, Alistair. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Time. I go, go, draw, draw, draw. Alistair, come on. Where's my Lord? Ah, where's my Lord? And I lose the fucking time, bro. Even though I win uh, with this uh, thing, but fuck. Man, we lost the time. That was so winnable and no one to blame but myself there. <laughs> Uh, I could have used all my traps better. I misplayed there. Trap, like, if you go back and look at that duel, you wouldn't think that I misplayed. But I did. Because if you activate one trap before another trap, as minor as that sounds, it costs the entire game in terms of which trap you activate. My game one, I should have played faster. Game one and three were both very winnable. And playing Eldritch, you have to win those games that are winnable no matter what because it's very winnable like the favor it favors you but this is fine it went all the way in round three is about to start now it's fine because there's top cut today so we're just gonna win the next two one top cut and win the whole thing so it's totally fine to lose this because as long as we don't think of this like negatively we have to move forward positively so the next game we got to take it with a champion mindset we're gonna win this one and we're gonna win the next one after that and then we're gonna go top cut we just cannot like you have to be wary of time because if we're playing a 35 trap card deck obviously we're gonna go into time so we can't be allowing that. We gotta play fast, 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 fast. I spent way too much. I spent way too much time thinking that L's on me. But I'll be the last L of the day. I promise you guys that. Round three is about to start right now. We're up against Madolce, and I'm very confident in this matchup. I built Madolce before myself, so let's get this. We're down one-one now. Very disappointing because that match was very winnable. The last match, but that's fine. I told you guys. Like, look, the game plan is to top, and when we top, to win. So. One loss does not stop this game plan. We just need to play smarter, and we still could very much easily achieve our goal. We're facing up against Madolce here. Madolce is actually a very tough matchup for Elich. It really is, but he did brick, so that was easy as shit. So we're going on game number two over here. The thing with Elich, the thing with Madolce is that uh, the Chateau bringing everything back to the hand, and we're playing such a grinding game, eventually just does outgrind us. And their Madolce link and XYZ protects their cards from getting destroyed. It is a rough matchup. So he has full combo here, and it's all good. I'm confident in my hand. I think we're going to win game number two. My hand is, is insane. I think we're going to make this a quick swift 2-0. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. Look at my hand. I have Lava Golem, I believe, as well as a bunch of traps. And I want a Lava Golem away stuff to, that protects his card. So I go L land here, set up five traps, and I'm uh, as long as he doesn't have Duster, I'd reboot the duels over. Of course, he has fucking Duster. What could you do, dude? Like, we did our best. Uh, he, he just had everything. Uh, he had the duster to get rid of all five traps. If he had twin twister, it didn't matter. If he had like cosmic, it didn't matter. It's specifically duster. If he had lightning storm, it didn't matter. Evenly, it didn't matter. Like it's only reboot or duster, and he ended up having it, bro. Like it, it's sad. He had it. We even decided three solid judgment to stop the duster red reboot, but he had it. Uh, it's all good. We're gonna go to game number three over here. As long as he does not have duster or reboot again, we are good. Even duster, we're fine. Like duster, we we have a, uh, our card to protect it. Our, our heavenly prison right there. He's reading it, so I instantly assume he has duster because he was reading heavenly prison. 
He seems a little confident. I saw him judgment set. So I'm like, it's all good. I go deep barrier to stop XYZ. I'm like, it's all good. Next turn, we're going to be good. We're going to summon out our prison. We're going to be good. I go trap trick, duster, bring out ice prison. Then he heralds, the, uh, heralds it. I'm very disappointed that he heralded our card. I saw him judgment. Uh, one of his cards away uh, that was kind of mandatory and now he's going to summon I'm like it's all good all my traps are legit we go duster and then he goes red reboot I'm like what the fuck duster game 2 reboot game 3 what are you gonna do dude I even saved my solemn and didn't use it on his normal summon in case he had evenly or red reboot <laughs> actually so insane and I definitely had to get rid of the Sistar because I had duster for him and the herald fucking hurt too oh my god that was a sad series of unfortunate events but you know what this happens you can't win them all you can't win them all i'm still a massive believer in this deck and uh tomorrow we'll run it back we'll run it back locals tomorrow and we're definitely gonna perform better because today was a fucking write-off holy shit yo charlie bro yeah what's up man that's so should be fucking bad bro i had to let people have a chance this time <laughs> Yo, Charlie, what do you usually do in your X2? I don't even know what to do. Uh, I don't know. So, I'll take Maybe we took an L in Yu-Gi-Oh! But we're about to take a dub, because we're about to get the best jerk chicken and cocoa bread in the planet. Let's go. That was the best jerk chicken ever. Last round, we gotta get lucky, man. We gotta get lucky, but we won't give up. It's not about the dog in the fight, it's about the fight in the dog. So what record are you, Dixon? X, X1. X1? Yeah. yeah, unfortunately I'm ass, so you're the greatest duelist in the world, Dixon. I, I just can't compete. But I'll see you in the finals. Okay, we'll because you. I'm going to sneak in in the eighth slot. Right. You're going to sneak in in like the sixth slot. Then I'll see you in the next round. Who do we face? Yo, Marlon, come through! I got so sacked round two and round three, but it's all good. Round four, there's still a shot we could sneak in at the eighth slot because top eight. Here I go first, and I'm uh, facing my opponent who is relatively new. He's playing Numerons, and Numeron is a very easy matchup for El Lich because it just is. Uh, he goes eccentric, pen best deck, and it's my dog over here. Uh, you know, here's the thing Numeron is actually decent. I actually was telling him that you should throw Numeron with El Lich together combined. It's actually a really solid strategy. Maybe in the future we're gonna try Numeron ourselves. I understand that you can't go Zexal anymore. But it is hand trap proof, but you can't Valor or Ash anything in the Numeron deck. And it's actually a very cool strategy. Maybe in the future we're going to try some Numeron El Lich just for shits and gigs. Uh, here we go, go, go Gustav, and we'll go play these. You go Swift Scarecrow. <laughs> Those fucking jokes. Uh, yeah, that's my boy. So, you know, he is a relatively new player playing cards like Eccentric and Swift Scarecrow. I'm trying to convince him later to play El Lich. I think it'll be really good in his uh, strategy. Uh, here, uh, I just have too much stuff. We're going to go Gustav for game. We're going to go game number two now. And uh, a deck like Elich does not lose to many rogue decks uh, unless we get like hit with Duster and reboots and stuff like that. But obviously, we're gonna have enough cards of that of our own. He's gonna link them off uh, to the card that does some burn damage. We go El Land, uh, put that up. I'm gonna set four in the classic, summon his card out. He's gonna go eccentric to pop onto my back row. It goes in. And here we're, we're, in a, we're in a good scenario here. We're in a very good scenario. Put up Golden Lord. And he's gonna so Scarecrow again, which is hilarious. Uh, I got my Gustav, do some burn damage. I set up Heavenly Prison and I just put up a big massive board. Uh, he's going to put out his card on the fact I'm going to conk, uh, making it useless. And we're going to win here. So two and two, uh, we might be able to sneak in the seven or eight slot. So, yo, we just had our match. That was a great match. You surprised me, bro. So Scarecrow put in work. That's fun, man. It was fun? Yo, I, but you're going to beat me next time, right? Of course. Let's go. I'm coming bro. back. You are. Next week. I better see you here. But next week, I told I, I, I told you I didn't tell the the chat in the comments. I told him guys to play Elich in his deck because Numeron and Elich together, it's a crazy combo because you have 15 cards for Numeron, 15 for Elich, combine them together, and you're gonna clap your opponent, bro. But next week, next week I'm gonna bring pendulums, baby. Oh shit. I'm All right. ready for you. I'm ready. Let's go. There's an outside chance we can still get in, boys. Outside chance. Our tiebreakers are XO and X1. I think we can do it. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm about to pull DP. I'm calling it right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to pull DP in this last one. We have four packs. Let's go. We're going to pull some cool stuff. I just get this feeling. We're going to pull something cool. I'll get it soon. 
all good. That's our best card. Might be it. Might be too good end. It's okay. Baron and DB. We're gonna get both actually. Oh, good card. And we're gonna play two of each in our pendulum deck when we do. It's okay. I told you guys we're playing Baron DP, not whatever trash set. Phantom Rage. That's trash. Right? We don't care about that. All right. We're going to get a Baron right now. And then we're going to play two Baron in Pendulums. All right. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, I'm stupid. Never mind. But that's because I, I don't even want a second Baron. I only want a second DP. In fact, I don't even have a DP. I would like one DP. I want to get this DP. Broken. Oh, we got a secret. Hey, still ass. But we got a secret nonetheless. Cool. Not bad. I told you guys we're going to play something cool. This card definitely has probably a combined. How much is it worth? Like three cents? Should he have a secret in the whole thing? Ice Jade's got no cool buddy. I know you have a good deal. Yo, Charlie, how much is this worth? Uh, yeah, like a Maybe dollar? Like a happy meal? A happy yeah. meal, yes! <laughs> like, yeah. We are a happy meal richer! Hey guys, so these are my friend Dixon's packs. I'm gonna steal them because he beat me the last time we dueled. <laughs> Yo, can you repeat that? So we gotta win! Yeah, yeah Alan, you're Exo, right? No. What? Why? No. Dude, you're a samurai. Look at your hair. How do you finish not Exo? No. Nah. I'm disappointed. No. Nah. But I'm X2, so who am I to talk? I'm X2 as well. Oh, we're ass. We are we're ass. Hey guys, here it goes. Here it goes. We're going on the top. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, shit. We're not top five. We're not top six. Come on. Yeah, seven, let's go, fucking let's go! Okay. I told you guys we're gonna win. I'm gonna get my revenge. I'm gonna get my revenge. I refuse to lose. I refuse to lose. Last tourney in probably Toronto for like a month. I'm gonna win. If sneaking into top eight don't deserve a sub and I like, I don't know what does. So I, my bad for the bad camera review for this. We're actually going straight into game two here. Uh, I realized that my camera wasn't even filming for game one. Game one, we swiftly win. It was a quick victory for game one. Game number two now, I need my revenge, bro. We got our ass whooped in the, in the match earlier against my boy here, playing Invoke Dogma DPE. Here, he makes it go first, obviously because of his Lightning Storms and Evenly matches, but we were prepared for that, so it's all good. We're stopping everything, he goes set four. I'm like, what the heck, set four? That's insane, ha, <laughs> set four. So he goes Invocation. I'm like, okay, that's all good. Brings up Purgatrio, brings up Alistair, brings up Akaba. I'm gonna stop the attack with Golden Lord and Conk. I'm gonna stop that in the field. And now here we're in a very good winning position. I'm gonna use Lord to, to send the card in the field. I'm gonna bring this out in the field. I'm gonna attack, attack, and then uh, Sky Palace to pop one. And then I just want Sky Palace there to be able to pop one by one. It's, it's nice to have, especially with the Heavenly Prison. And it's just too much advantage here. We're gonna, we're gonna win here. It, it, we have a great matchup over here. So we're gonna go straight to the top four. Let's go. One down, baby. Now we just need to win the uh, top four and top two. Charlie, you're going down, bro. Oh, he's not even in. Oh, you already won? I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> Top four, baby. Let's go. We're going first. We're facing up against Sword Soul DPE. This is... Uh, we're playing off against a very good player. I, I really love the way he's playing. He goes straight to the battle phase, knowing damn well that I could just negate his Taiye. He's trying to get some free damage. I love that. Uh, you want to get as much as mine as possible. He goes along. You want a Torrential. I see that he's trying to... He, he, Went really hard into putting a lot of cards in the field. I wouldn't long go on into set five. He's a really good duelist. So I know for a fact that he has blackout set. For a fact. I go goes in to stop that. Assuming he's going to go blackout. And he does. I read the blackout instantly. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone long. You want to discard. But I'm like, this is fine. Uh, him doing blackout is okay with me. Uh, he goes another uh, Taiye out. I'm going to conk that. He's going to go Solemn Judgment. I'm like, that's fine. He has two cards in the field. And I torrential and token summon. Then he recognizes he loses. There's just nothing he could do. He has Celestial on Dash right now, which is hilarious. I know he's playing DPE. So here we're going to go on to game number two. And I know this, the key to victory here. The key to victory is to not get absolutely fucking blown out by Duster Red Reboot. And so I'm making sure that I have enough cards possible to stop this. Also, DP, if he goes first, uh, which he will. Oh, he makes me go first. I, that was, this really surprised me because I had Sphere Mode and Lava Gold. And he hits me with a Duster. Of course, bro. Of course. Fucking Duster. Really, the only way we lose, bro, is getting hit with Duster and shit like that. And we thought we were going second. So I have more Lava Golem, etc. to stop his DPE Shisha Baron. Very disappointing. But it's all good. At that phase, I put a Scarlet and he, he, he saves the Cosmic to Cosmic it. And I set a very big grind game. Maybe we can come back from the Duster. Uh, he goes Moye. He's going to set out a nice uh, extra little board here. He's going to go with the Synchro 8. And I just end up losing here, sadly. We're going to go to game number three. Man, the Duster got our ass, bro. 
that <laughs> shit got us bad. But this is fine, because now I can side all my cards that stop. I have 11 cards that stop Duster, uh, Lightning Storm, all that bullshit. Even semi cards like anti spell, I stop it for a bit in, until I could pop his back row and anti spell and, and uh, D barrier and shit like this. So he's thinking a long time on the draw phase when I anti spell, telling me that he has a cosmic cyclone. Okay, good to know. <coughs> it's very good to know. So here I go conk right off the bat, and there's a reason why. Uh, he brings out the token, I'm gonna go punishment, bringing out the at ignister. Uh, I have. Uh, trap trick. Uh, I wanted to have the option for D barrier. With my trap trick here, I have lots of options. I can go punishment, but I decided to go Scarlet. Uh, the reason why I want his card in the field so I could crash it for Ignister to resolve. Ignister is, is going to be able to get rid of one card. So now there's only three cards left. I set two. I, I set two with uh, Elliches. Uh, I go Scarlet on his turn. I'm re I'm draw I do all this on drop phase because I have D barrier. Just in case he has Duster. I don't want to hard lose the Duster. So I'm trying to activate all my cards ASAP. There, I knew he had the Cosmic, but he chose to hit another one. I go Trap Trick here. He hit the wrong one. Tra I really hope he was going to hit my Trap Trick with the Cosmic. And I go D Barrier. I want to set a D Barrier to have it ready. Because I assume he had the Duster. That's what I assumed he had. So it was unfortunate. He has a Fusion Destiny instead when I call Synchro. I'm like, fuck! I got unlucky. I'd rather a Duster or a Lightning Storm. So we, we just used the math. I'm like, it's unfortunately a DPE. But we kind of outplayed ourselves. We're trying to play around Duster and Lightning Storm so badly, activating stuff in draw phase. Uh, but he had the Fusion Destiny instead. So we lost like the 40 60. Well, the 60 40 is still in our favor to do that play. Any of the Psalm Judgment, I'm like, fuck, dude. Fuck, 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 fuck. Like, there really just isn't much we could do at this point. Uh, we didn't want to get. That last issue with Lightning Storm, bro. You got to play so hard to play around it that sometimes you play around it too much. And as you can see here, Sadly, it's going to lead us to not winning. It's all good. We finish up top four. We get some pretty solid prizing. And <sighs> unfortunate that we don't win at all. But it's okay. You really can't win them all. Top four is not bad. We did play well. I wouldn't have changed anything. And even though I'm not happy with fourth, it's all good. We played well. So that's what matters. So guys, we ended up losing there in the top four. Uh, I'll let you know it performed well. I want to give a big shout out to my opponent because he actually played extremely well. He did really good where in situations where I'd set five, set four, I'd be doing a lot of these similar plays when I'm playing other decks. He would just he would go with battle phase. He wouldn't overextend. He wouldn't throw his whole hand at, his, at the field to try and out my stuff. The game one, uh, he had a very obvious blackout when he was trying to like summon the cards, but uh, he was doing like very good plays. He, if I didn't pop his his uh, beginning monster in game one, he wouldn't have long Yuan because he wanted to make sure the blackout was live. He didn't overextend too much. Game two, he attacked again. Uh, no, really it is what it is, man. We, we played the best that we could. I don't think I made any mistakes. Our opponent played well, and the play, he saved his Cosmic Cyclone to my Anti-Spell. If he Cosmic that Anti-Spell, and uh, was doing some plays, and then we stopped his his synchro, his Sword Soul plays, then when he activated Fusion Destiny, we d barrier Fusion, we would have won if he played that aggressive. So he played very well there to play around that. And I did my best. To, uh, I made sure to leave his monster in attack so the Conquistador could attack and Adic Nister could set one spell. But when he set four, I knew that was too many. So I tried to set up a play with Deep Barrier for the following turn. He was playing very patient and it paid off for him. I hope he wins in the finals. This signals our end of the tournament. And it's going to be the last locals for a while. So it looks like we're going to be doing some remote vlogs. So we'll see you guys in the next one. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll win the next remote ones. Let's go. Yo, are you guys on your match? You win? So it's gonna be Charlie. Oh, Charlie in the final. Sadly, I gotta go watch some football, but that's gonna be quite a match to watch. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.